This afternoon, emergency workers are more prepared to handle a terror attack. Video here of that realistic training effort today. Channel 2's Steve Gelbach reports from Fort Gillum, where he got that exclusive look at the exercise. The scenario. This pickup plowed through a barricade, ran over a number of soldiers, some dead, some injured. Others become hostages. Four heavily armed suspects hold dozens inside this facility at Fort Gillum. Got out of the firing automatic weapons. Dispatchers feed first responding officers information. The gunmen have run inside the motor pool where the other soldiers are. Five the subjects and they're supporting ISIS. Forest Park police arrive and quickly engage the terrorists. One came out and left. I got one out the doorway. One hostage is eventually freed, but not before getting a bullet to her leg. This exercise is designed to be as real as possible, even real guns, just not real bullets. They do fire what's called simunitions. But they do hurt if you get shot by one. Fort Gillum is not a full-size base anymore, just a small enclave. And one of the only U.S. military installations that's not protected by military police, actually local law enforcement covers this area, but it still could be targeted by terrorists. Forest Park police now do an exercise like this each year, but this is the biggest and most realistic, bringing in surrounding Clayton County police, fire, SWAT, and medical first responders. It gives the officers more of a sense of what can really happen and how you should treat it, how you respond to it, how you react. To it. it also gives the military personnel a chance to train themselves. We know how first responders respond, but the, the problem is how do you react to an active shooter incident as a victim? In the end, all the bad guys and girl were captured, but they didn't give up without a fight. In Forest Park, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.